Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. Now I'm here to talk about Get Out, which is about an interracial couple, a black man and a white woman, who go to visit her parents for the weekend, and he starts to notice some strange and sinister stuff happening. So when I first saw the trailer for, of this film a few months back, I thought it would be awful. <laughs> the trailer was cringy, unfunny, and pretty random. But then seeing all the positive reviews and how it, with over 100 reviews, until one negative review, Dropped it to 99. So it was at 100, then dropped to a 99 because of one view. Oh man. I was interested to see the film, and what I saw was kind of what I expected a random, cringy, and pretty weird flick. Let me start with some of the positives. The acting, it's kind of mixed. Our protagonist, who's Chris, who was played by Daniel Kalula, sorry if I mispronounced it, was throughout the film really good until the finale, which felt stone cold with his performance. The girlfriend, who was played by Allison Williams, was awful. I thought she was so cringy, so bad, especially in the finale. That's where a lot of people dropped the ball, and it just made me want to leave with her. I mean, it just kind of made me facepalm. But I was starting to just go through with it and just start to laugh, so pretty bad performance from her. Her parents were really good in the film, and the brother is easily the worst performance in this film. He's one of the worst performances I think I've seen in a film. So bland, so boring, so uninterested, and just so stupid. I just really hate his performance. I think he was doing bad on purpose. I don't know. But the best performance was by Chris's friend, who was played by Lil Ray Howery. Sorry if I mispronounced that. He was so funny and just really great to see on the screen. Even like a lot of his scenes, which I thought were really unnecessary, they were really entertaining, so I'm fine with those. The plot, I thought, could have been executed better. I don't really have that much in it. Keep me invested. The only really good scene I liked was the hypnotizing scene, where he sinks into- she's like, sink. He sinks into the chair. That was a pretty good scene. <laughs> And, no spoilers, but the finale was very anticlimactic and then downright silly. There are a few things left hanging without an end, and I noticed the final finale tried to tie up loose ends but missed a couple and made me lose interest. And of course, like most horror films, there are a lot of unscary and unnecessary jump scares that just got really annoying after a while. Like, there's this one part, like in the trailer, you see um, Chris, he walks outside in the night, like, to get a smoke. And you see this one guy just charge right towards him, running, and all of a sudden darts to the left. And it was, and it was building up the music, he just turns left instantly. It felt really unnecessary, and it was just so bad. Like, cringy bad. Like, not even a good way. The film I also didn't really find that scary. Like, nothing about it was scary. It was more laughable than scary. Which is not a good thing in a horror film. So, those are my thoughts on Get Out, and I'd give it a 4 out of 10, because some good performances, a really good scene, and interesting premise can't help it be average or above with the rest of these problems. Of the awful performances, the thin plot, the awful and anticlimactic finale, the really unscary and unnecessary jump scares, and this film failed at what it was supposed to be. Scary! I'd really like to know your thoughts on this film, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.